In part three of step two, Molly shows us how the four frames are put together to build the walls of the Perkins play space. My frame A and B are like this. We go. So one side of the hinge here will go on the top of side B, and the other side of the hinge will go on the edge of side A, like that. Screw the two hinges to connect sides A and B, and then sides C and D. Safety hasps are the next material used. Molly explains the benefits of attaching them to the PPS. With this gap here, it enables the whole thing to fold up, which is kind of kind of good thing. Side C gets hit, it hit attached to side A, the top that are on. Then we want a couple of eye hooks. Eye hooks hold the PPS together while it is in the open position. Screw the hooks into the side of frame D that is closest to frame B. And then another eye hook the thing a bit more stable. And then the other thing to think about um, for hardware is the handle. Next we will attach a handle to frame A. The handle is very useful for both parents and teachers. When you're going from house to house with your play space, it's a lot easier to carry if you have a handle. So putting a handle um, on the middle, you have to fold it up to make sure you know where the top is. After that is done, we can fold up our PPS to attach the last eye hook. From the top piece, side A, which is the um, roof, to the biggest side, side B, which is on the outside when the thing folds, just enables it to hold together. The last step of the construction is to secure the walls to the framework of the play space. All that is required is a screwdriver. Simply place the walls on the outside of the framework and attach it with your quarter inch wood screws. Repeat this process for the Lexan ceiling. Place it atop the PPS and attach with wood screws. After the walls and ceiling are finished, you're done. You now have a fully functional, fully portable PPS. Now that it's completed, Molly shows us just how easy it is to fold up and take with you. And fold the little side in. Fold this pair of sides into the roof and then the biggest side goes on top. Depending on the toys, you may have to take the toys out, but if the toys are really soft, you probably can squish them in there. And then this big clip that you have on the side comes into play to hold the whole thing together for you so that you can hold onto the handle and go off somewhere. Now that Molly has shown us how to construct a play space, please visit the resources link on the PPS homepage to find out where you can purchase the supplies needed for the construction.